Welcome. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this GAN Toucan wireless RV leveling system. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So we have some features listed on the side. It works with a variety of vehicles, has a color LCD, real-time vehicle attitude monitoring, Bluetooth 5.0 transmission, real-time dynamic monitoring, support for Android or iOS, smart power saving mode and smart wake up, flexible installation, multi-view vehicle attitude monitoring, rechargeable design, intuitive vehicle height adjustment for easy operation. So let's get this open. So here we have the manual. And before I get too far into this, what we're looking at here is a device that you can mount inside of an RV and then connect to it with your smartphone to tell if your RV is level. So traditionally you might have to use bubble levels. This is a digital version of that. So here we have the manual. Let's take a quick look. So here we have some product specs. This charges with USB type C and has an 1800 milliamp hour battery. This comes with the device, mounting bracket, charging cable, double stick tape, and screws. This talks about installation. This talks about mounting at level. This talks about directions for use. So you can pause and read through that. So this has temperature button, Bluetooth connection indication, power button, and Bluetooth key. So you hold down the power button to turn it on. Press power button to light it up or turn the screen off. We have QR codes for the iOS or Android app. This talks about the different features of the app. This talks about common operating instructions. And we have some problems and solutions. So let's look at this itself. So here's the monitor. So this slides in and out of this caddy. And then we have screw holes for mounting it. We have USB-C charge port there. And we have some VHB tape. And these are the mounting screws and the charge cable. So let's try turning this on. Okay, so it's on. Zoom in a little bit. I'm going to turn off my light. There we go. So if we tilt this left to right, we can see that in the middle. And if we tilt it forwards and backwards, we can see that on the sides. So let's get this connected up to charge. So you can charge this up with a phone charger or other USB charger. If you have a newer RV, it might have some already built in. So I'll plug this in here and now we're charging. So let's get this connected up to the app. Now typically you would connect this up with a phone. I'm going to connect it up with my iPad just for demonstration. So I'll scan the QR code in here and pull the app up on the App Store. So it looks like the app is called Vehicle Level Regulator. I'll download it. App would like to use Bluetooth, I'll allow. It says find device, confirm to connect now. I'll hit OK. It says it's connected. That was very easy. We have settings. It says display angle measurements. Next, preferences are centimeter or inches. I'm going to choose inches and Fahrenheit. I'll hit next. Here we want to enter the width and length of our camper. So the manual talks about obtaining these measurements. So for the width, you want the outside of your wheels. And then for the length, you want from the distance between your tires, the front, the furthest front and the furthest rear tire, or your furthest rear tire and your tongue. So I'm going to leave these for now. I need to measure that and I can go back and change it. I'll hit next. And I will be connecting this up with my camper. I'm just setting this up on my bench here because it's easier to show. And then I'll show it in application in a bit. So here it's asking how you installed it. The screen faces rear or front. So you can tell how you have the orientation. I'll do screen faces front. And we have idle time until sleep. I'll set this for 10 minutes for now. I'd probably in practice have that lower. And then we have language. I'll hit finish. I'll say okay. So here we have a little tutorial. In the upper left, we have the current temperature. We have the current battery setting for the device itself. I'll hit next. We have setup, units, and here we have the display. So I'll pick this up and I'll hold it like it might be mounted in a camper and I'll tilt it left and right. And you can see it's telling us where we need to raise or lower the camper. Now if I tilt it forwards or backwards, you can see that also. So when you first put this in your camper, you want to make sure you level your camper the traditional way and then mount this up and then we can use it to level it in the future. So we have this set up here. Let's head out to the camper and get it set up there and demonstrate its use. Okay, so I'm out here at my camper. I'll start by pulling the app up. So I'll go into setup and I measured my width and length. So the width is 92. Length is 170. 
Next, I want to manually level the camper. So you can do this how you traditionally level the camper if you use blocks or wedges. So the way it is here, this is the right side of the camper. I need to raise the right up just a little bit. And then front to back, I need to lower the front just a little bit. So the most important thing is to get side to side because when you mount this, you need to mount it correctly side to side. It's best to start out with your camper on a level surface so you have less leveling to do. But let me show you how, in my situation, I'm going to bring this side up just a little bit. So I need to raise this side up a quarter inch, so I'm just going to jack it up. Now if you do a method like this, you want to make sure that you're jacking it properly for your camper or RV. With some campers, they have certain ways you have to jack them up so you don't damage the axles. Now in my situation, I need to raise it up just a little bit, so I won't even take the tire off the ground. So I'm probably up about a quarter inch, so let's go check it. We're still off quite a ways. Let me go do it again. So I've moved the level over to just above the axle. In case there's any flex on the countertop there, I need to raise it just a little bit more. Okay, so I'm happy with that right about there. Now if I look at it front to rear, it's looking perfect right there. Now if I bring it up to the counter, it's showing it needs to go down in the front just a little bit, or maybe up in the front, but it's very close. So if you have an older jack, it might drift down. But I do want to mention I'm not getting under here. That's why I'm not using a jack stand. So if this were to go down, it would just lower this a little bit. So I'm going to be mounting the leveler inside of this cabinet, probably somewhere over here. So let me get set up to do that. So to start off, I want to mount this with one screw in one corner. So you want to make sure you don't mount it up too high because you want to be able to lift it off of here. So I like this right about here. Maybe, well maybe here. So I'm just going to use this little pick tool to make a mark right about here. Now I can put the screw in. Okay, I have that started pretty good. So now this can pivot off this, so I'll turn this on, and if we tilt this side to side, it's a little tricky to see, we can see when it's level or not. So I'm going to place this in here, and then I want to level it precisely, and I want to hold the holder while taking the unit out and putting the other screws in. And it's nice having that pick tool because I can press in, that way the screw is not wandering. And I haven't found it necessary to pre-drill for this. So I'm actually looking at the X right here, and it says zero. So I'll pull this out, and I need my light again. I have one screw in, let's check it. It's about a tenth or two of a degree off. I'll kind of twist it a little bit. So let's get the other screws in. Okay, I have all four screws in. Now I can put the leveler in, I'll press the button. Now this is in a cupboard hidden away. I'll be using the Bluetooth to access this. For a motorhome, you might want this where you can see it. That's personal preference, but with the Bluetooth, I can connect to this with my phone and access it wherever I am around the camper. So it does have a little opening here on the bottom, so you can plug it into USB. And I'm actually probably going to add a USB port around here anyway, just for charging things. So that'll be convenient. So let's show how this operates now by going to the tongue and adjusting the front and back. So if we pop back into the settings, I originally set this up as screen faces front, and I switched that to screen faces rear, and the other settings are all the same. So the way you would use this is when you come up to a campsite and you're about ready to park it, you want to find out which side is low and then you would put a wedge or block it up. So this is level side to side now, but I actually had raised the right side so I would put a block under the right side. Then once I do that I would disconnect and then I need to raise it front to rear. Let's go up to the front and I'll demonstrate that. And it's very sunny out so I'll do a screen capture of my iPad. Okay, so looking at the app it says the front is a few inches too high. So I have the switch under this cover here. I'll just lower it. Oh, I read that wrong. I needed to go up a little bit. Okay, so there I have it pretty close. So that was the GAN Toucan wireless RV leveling system. I think a device like this is the ideal way to level an RV. You can pull up to your spot, find out what side's low, put something like an Anderson leveler under it, 
level side to side, and then once you unhook, you can level front to back, and you don't have to pull out a level or use multiple people to say if it's level or not. You can just pull out your phone and dial it right in. I like that this is rechargeable, so you can keep it charged up easily. It's also removable. It's very hot in my camper right now, so I don't want to store this in the camper. I can put this with my RV supplies that I keep in the house, and I'll just take the whole box with me and install this when I'm ready to go on a trip. This was very easy to install. You can take this on a camping trip with you and level your RV how you traditionally level it, and then install this while it's level, and then it's ready to go for the next time. Or like I did, you could level it in your driveway and then install this, and then it's ready for your next camping trip. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.